Something special happens in baptism. God takes the power of his word and he combines it with simple water to fill you with this Holy Spirit, to forgive your sins, and to raise you to a new life. And so I'm going to ask you, and moms, dads, grandmas, grandparents, sponsors, if you'll respond as well alongside of your kids, that would be great. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? If so, then answer yes. And do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that he came to earth, that he lived on earth, that he died on the cross, and that he rose from the dead for your forgiveness of sins and new life? If so, then answer yes. yes. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, whom the Lord our God has sent to fill your heart and to dwell in you and lead you to that new life? If so, then answer yes. yes. And do you renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways? If so, then answer yes, I do. Well, it's so exciting to be able to have you guys come forward and be baptized. And I got a question for families and sponsors. As these students are baptized this morning, and a little guy right there, um, will you commit to continuing to walk with them in their faith life? That you would show them what it means to follow Jesus for the whole of their days. Today is not an end. In so many ways, today is a beginning and a next step in their faith. And it is essential for you guys to walk with them throughout their faith life. If you're willing to take on that uh, privilege and that honor and opportunity, then say yes with the help of God. And St. Peter's, as you guys have had opportunity to know some of these guys down here getting baptized, Will you commit to pray for them and walk with them and set the model and example of what it means to follow Jesus as you live life here at St. Peter's? If so, then answer yes. Awesome. Mason Steele Burton, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grayson, Nevaeh, Don, Patterson, Childress, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nevaeh Leanne Smith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. William Page Walker, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jada Elise Walker, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gentry James Walker, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One of the amazing things about this is that Christ seals you as his own. In the waters of baptism, he has marked you, he has adopted you, and he has said that you are a dearly loved, forgiven child of God. And, and students, I want you to look right here, and I want you to hear this really clearly. Jesus promises to be with you to the very end of the age. And what that means is that no matter what happens in your life, no matter where you go, no matter what's going on, you know that Jesus will always be with you. And not only will Jesus be with you, but from here on out, the Holy Spirit lives in your heart. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing that you have poured out on these students and these families. Father God, continue to watch over these students and children. Continue to grow and stretch them in their faith to be faithful disciples of you. Lord, in every uh, different path that they find themselves on, we ask that, Lord, you would continue to make yourself known and present to them in every way. That, Lord, they would have confidence in their lives, knowing that they are children of God, forgiven and dearly loved. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.